Hello everybody, it's me again. NVIDIA came out with the latest Tal Toolkit. So we're going to go over some of the highlights with that and then we're going to go ahead and do a walkthrough of one of the Jupyter Notebooks. So let's go ahead and get started. So the new toolkit come out, it's uh, version 4.0. And then uh, what is the NVIDIA Tal Toolkit? It eliminates your need, needs for mountains of data and an army of data scientists as you create AI machine learning models and speed up the development process with transfer learning, a powerful technique that instantly transfers learned features from an existing neural network model to a new customized one. And then it goes through and it says all the, the, the what it's built on, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and then it goes through the, the, the descriptions here, the key benefits, train models faster, build highly accurate AI, optimize for inference, deploy with ease. Then you get ready, get enterprise ready with NVIDIA AI Enterprise. It goes, what is pre-trained models? And uh, the key features, talks about the key features and, and uh, you can run it on the cloud. And what they've done is they, they've added a, a feature now where you can run it on Google Colab. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try that. I've never done it that way before, but, you know, we'll give it a go. And it talks about the performance from for all your models, what, what you can achieve and what to expect. And then customer stories and uh, the uh, early adopters. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So uh, start creating custom AA models with the NVIDIA TAL toolkit. So this is a kind of a, a goes over what uh, what to expect, what's what's new, and then uh, you can download it, try on Launchpad or Google Colab, and then uh, uh, and then another thing too is there's a lot of uh, videos in here, how to uh, things that show you the best way to do things, and one thing uh, you can always expect from the Tal Toolkit team is their uh, their documentation and. Uh, uh, deployment is excellent uh, I really think that the the Tal toolkit how they uh, lay out the information to uh, to learn with is, is like the gold standard of how it should be done they use give you a lot of information and uh, a lot of ways to do the same thing which is good options so they have a developer blog uh, the new developer blog G the GTC webinar this is where you can get your sources and uh, uh, featured videos they're good with that additional resources and I'll go ahead and put a link to all this stuff I'm going to show you today so uh, let's go ahead and get started so this is the documentation that you'll get and uh, you can say there's there's uh, get started with the NVIDIA Tal toolkit this is the hardware you'll need uh, minimum hardware and this is what I have set up this is my setup I've got a, a Intel Core i9 processor. I've got RTX 2080 Ti, 32 meg, uh, gigs of memory, and uh, I'm running Ubuntu 20.04. So this is my setup, and this this runs pretty good. You can do a lot of stuff on there. You you can usually train your models. I I can train my models, some of the Yolo ones, probably in like 12 hours. So I mean that's not the best, but it, it's pretty good. And then here's your software requirements, Ubuntu, Python, Docker CE, Docker API, NVIDIA Container Toolkit, uh, Runtime, uh, Python, uh, PIP and stuff. So these are the, the software requirements you'll need. So I'm basically assuming that you've already set your system up for, for to run this. So, um, so let hit, let's go ahead and get started here. So first of all, we're going to uh, download our content. I've already, um, oh, and uh, well, we'll get to this later. They want you to run in a uh, virtual uh, environment, and they recommend Conda, um, but whatever one is, is, is suits you better. So what this does is this will give you um, what we just did is we'll download Getting Started version 4.0. This contains your no, some notebooks and then uh, some setup, how to set up some stuff, bare metal, AWS. 
But the one we're going to uh, do is the notebooks and the Tau Launcher Starter Kit. And this has all your Jupyter notebooks, everything you'll need right here. So we're going to work out of this. So then it goes, uh, there's a couple ways to launch this. You can use the CLI launcher and just install your prerequisites to run the CIL launcher. Um, like I say, they, were rec they recommend a, a, a Python environment to run this in, a virtual environment. They, they're in this one, they set up like uh, Conda. I don't use Conda, I use, um, I can't remember what it is, like Makel virtual environment, but run it in a virtual environment so you keep everything together. And this is how to install the launcher, running from containers, uh, running Tal Toolkit APIs, running from Python wheels, your Jupyter Notebooks. Um, these are all the pre-trained models, uh, Jupyter Notebooks that, that we're going to use. And the one we're going to, the, the, the Jupyter Notebook we're going to actually run through is Action Recognition Net one. And then this is your network architect. It's all in here. It's my favorite, the YOLOs. Those are my favorite because I think they, they, they make the best recognition models. Conversational AI, they're really moving toward, uh, uh, you know, uh, using the conversational AI packages to, uh, to really nail down speech recognition. And then, of course, you've got to install a Jupyter Notebooks because that's what we're going to run. And then down, you can download all the models. And then this is just downloading the models, how to do things. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how I do mine, how I set it up. And the way I set it up is uh, I kind of go jump over. I make sure all that's done in the beginning. I download all the models. I I load up all my uh, uh, launchers, and so you can just go into the folder and then pick out any Jupyter notebook you want and then launch it. So let's go ahead and uh, get that going. So. This is this is um, how I get it ready. So let's see. So I've already logged into my uh, NGC catalog page. I went to the Tau Toolkit um, and go to here Tau Tau Toolkit. And this is another way. Another once you're in the toolkit, this just shows you the options. So what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and set it up, get it set up and, and run it. So I'm assuming that you've already set your machines up to uh, to meet the software requirements and you're already in a virtual uh, network and that everything's ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll go over here, do my setup. I want to do my downloads, my CLI. I'm running the, the uh, Ubuntu, so I'm going to use this one, AMD64 Linux. Now come down here and we'll copy this, run it. Copy the next one. Ask me what I want. Uh, replace. I've already got it done. I've already done this before, so this this will ask you. I'm going to do all replace everything and then the next one is this one it's okay then this one and then what did I do this one and then let's see so I've already done this one I'm really not going to do this one is because I've already we're going to do it later. Now this here NGC config set, um, we're going to do this in the next one where, where we generate the key. So I've basically done the, the this the first one, the top one, the next one, and the next one below it. So we're done with that. So I'm going to back out of here, and now I'm going to get my API key. I'm going to generate my API key. Generate my key. Generate my key. Copy this. I'm going to save this to later because this has to be put into the notebook. I've already done one here. I've done earlier. So let's put uh, right here. So we've saved that.
because we're going to be using this quite a lot. So this is the key we've just generated. So uh, let's go ahead and run this ngc config set. So it's going to ask, do I have a valid API key? Yes, I do. I'm going to copy it right here. And then uh, my CLI output format, ASCII, A-S-C-I-I. -I. And then wants to know what organization I'm in. And that's it up here, up on the right, you see Adventure Daisy. I'm running this one, A-U-U, -U, whatever this. So that's the one I'm going to pick. A U U J F W three two zero B W zero and then I'm I'm gonna have no team. If you were on a team you would just I've never used a team before so I wouldn't know how that goes. No ace. I'm not sure what that means, but I don't have one. Okay, so we accept, successfully saved our NGC configuration here. Now we're going to go ahead and do our Docker login. So we copy this. And we use South Token, that's our, uh, right here. Password is right here, is our key. Ah, so we've logged in successfully. So now all we got to do is get is to run our Jupyter Notebook, get to them is like is run the Jupyter Notebook Notebook start command. But before we do that, let's uh, uh so we don't go looking, we want this is what we want to get into right here. The setup, nope, the notebooks. And this is the one we're going to use, the Tau Launcher Starter Kit. That has all the ones we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and just get in that file before we start our Jupyter Notebook. If we don't, and we could start it right now, but then we have to go searching for it. So let's do this. And now we can start our Jupyter Notebook. Now that can be done up here. Let's see, we don't need this anymore because we're all done, so let's close this out. Um, up here, we don't need this because we've already kind of looked at things. This is the other one. So we're basically down to the uh, documentation. So what we can do is to get started, let's go up here, let's go back. So to run our Jupyter Notebooks, we have to run this command right here. There we go. Right here. That's only if you've already installed the, the Jupyter Notebook. You run this. And it'll start uh, the Jupyter Notebook portal. So here you are. We've got a Jupyter Notebook uh, open. And we're already inside our folder right here. And in here are all the Jupyter Notebooks that we can run. Like for here, actionrecognition.net. There's our Jupyter Notebook right there. Uh, DetectNet. There's the Jupyter Notebook right there. So we're basically ready to go. Now, uh, the next thing we need to do is when you run the Docker containers, you have to uh, m have a folder on your system that the, the Jupyter Notebook can uh, mount to. So so you have some place for everything to go. So what, we're, what I've done was, let's see, I've done is I made this right here. It's called Tau Experiments. This is the folder that everything's gonna be sent to and uh, read from. The, the this folder up here is basically where the Jupyter notebook is going to be going to be worked from but here is where your all your results are going to go so you just make a make a, a file folder called tau experiments 
and right now it's empty. So we're going to go ahead and get started and um, so what we need to do is we're going to do actionrecognition.net go right here is your uh, Jupyter Notebook so we get it running